Hi everyone, my name is Christine, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you around our kitchen which we recently decluttered and reorganized using the KonMari method of tidying and decluttering. This was about three months ago and since then we've just been maintaining what we achieved back then. So what you see is exactly what our kitchen looks like every single day. We haven't done anything special prior to filming this, this is just how we live now. I hope it will inspire you to declutter your own home if that's something that you've been thinking about yourself. Thanks for watching. So can a potato peeler or a spatula really spark joy? Well as we found out going through this process, yes actually they can. It turned out there were loads of items that we significantly preferred using and enjoyed using more than others within our kitchen to cook and to clean. So that's the stuff that we focused on and then everything else was just white noise, that was clutter. Those were the items that we purged from our kitchen. And now we have only the things that we love, only things we enjoy using and that function well. So just a quick look, see even our fridge is reasonably organised. Um, we keep our bread maker, our Kilner drinks dispenser and a bowl for current bread and pastries. And we have a shopping list and a meal planner and I really like that. And then up here we've just got a little magnet from Cypress with some chilies that we grew and dried ourselves. And then here, I love these, these are um, magnetic spice jars. They just sit on the side of the fridge and I've labelled them at the back but I know what most of them are just by sight anyway and I picked those up, gosh I can't remember how many years ago at Car Boots Hill in Edinburgh. So here we've got some utensils that just hang on S hooks to um, maximise vertical storage space and this butcher block of knives and this adorable little egg timer and they sit on top of this little marble pastry board which I have honestly never ever used but it works quite well to keep um, you know when I'm cooking I tend to put utensils I'm using on there and then just wipe that down. Here are cooking things like stock cubes and oils and some salt and pepper and some garlic and all those clicker things because the spark on our oven has gone. Um, it is a 20 year old oven so you know everything works perfectly and we will renovate at some point but we're in no hurry and um, need to figure out what we want in a new kitchen first. Anyway here's our storage stuff so we keep kilner jars, mason jars, some bottles, um, these Von Chef glass Tupperware are fantastic that was quite a recent purchase actually I'm really glad we got those because we got rid of loads and loads of plastic stuff that was looking a bit grotty and well to be honest, most of it ended up in our craft room to store stuff. Um, and then here are these Nigella Lawson mixing bowls, which I absolutely adore. I've had them for years and years, and they're great because they function not only for mixing things but also as serving bowls because we like to keep things quite informal. Um, don't have any fancy serving dishes in this house. So here we've got our pan cupboard, and we've got our steamer set, and you can see we've got different pans and then through here at the back we've got a mixer and our blender and down here we've got some more stuff and our slow cooker and a salad spinner at the back there um, and it's just organized by stuff we reach for most frequently at the front and then the rest at the back but nothing's very hard to get out you do have to occasionally pull out some a pile of pans to get to something else but it's fine we so right next to the oven, this is where we keep our chopping boards and Pyrex measuring jugs and then all our bakeware, kitchen scales and cheese grater and honestly this kitchen scale is fantastic. It switches between different units and it's so easy to use, easy to wipe clean. I love it. The biggest change here was swapping out our Tupperware for the glass ones that stack and also removing the lids from our pots and pans cupboard and putting them up high. Under our sink, um, I'm actually really proud of this space. It may not look it, but it's actually very organized. So we've got vinegar at the back, spare bags and sponges, filters for the drinking fountain that you can maybe hear in the background. We've got first aid kit, microfiber cloths, these are amazing. I buy them from Amazon, I've got different stashes throughout the house because I use them for everything. Um, tea towels, folded, con conmary style of course. This is where I keep washing up sponges and brushes and the 
liquid um, for washing up because I really don't like how it looks out on the counter space. So I keep it here. And to be honest, we clean almost everything in our house using Dr. Bronner's Castile soap and vinegar and natural products, essential oils, all that sort of thing. I got these fabulous glass bottles from Sally's Organics on Amazon. Highly recommend them. They've got an excellent spray, nice weight to them, and they look kind of pretty. And I also recently, just uh, last week actually, got this new dustpan and brush set. Um, and it's really good. Recommend it. So here in this cupboard, we're big on recycling. Um, so we have the plastics here. We do have our paper recycling, glass recycling in the garage to go out to our wheelie bins which get taken away every couple of weeks and then I've got these clear command hooks for our oven and then up here we keep food scraps uh, bin here it's just got a few bits from the dog's breakfast they didn't want and then I take that out every day we've got some basil some tissues we make our own hand soap um, using castile soap um, just a kettle but it's, it's quite a fancy one <laughs> it's one of these colour changing ones when it boils. I like that. Um, this little guy we picked up in Warwick many, many years ago. And then we've just got little bits of decoration. Some essential oils. These are also full of essential oils, which I use for loads of stuff. Cleaning, um, an aroma diffuser, bath bombs, all sorts of stuff. I've only got the one set of crockery. Um, I think we picked up Marks and Spencer some gift vouchers one year. And it works really well and you know it's still a complete set so we just have one we don't have any fancy plates up here you'll see we keep mugs and we've got some teas and coffees and things here now the reason they're up there is because my husband and i don't drink any hot drinks whatsoever and that's specifically for guests and here we've got bento boxes thermos flasks a cocktail shaker um one of those water bottles for diffusing your fruit and then here I absolutely love this drawer my husband made me this cutlery organizer um, after we had watched a video which showed how to make drawer dividers and it was for actually that video was about making drawer dividers for under bed storage and we just applied, applied the same principle to creating this and we did it at our old home as well and we loved it so much we decided to replicate it here. So it's basically just foam board which has um, vinyl wallpaper samples put on top with some adhesive spray glue and then little pins just to secure it. But I love it. It's so easy to keep clean because it's this special vinyl wallpaper stuff and it means we've got all our silverware in one place and then these fabulous really sharp knives. These ones are kept separate because they don't go in the dishwasher, whereas that's their do. Um, and then here, husband did the same thing for me in this drawer. So here we've got KitchenAid blades and things, and then these really, really useful, I love these, IKEA clips for resealing things that have been opened. Some measuring spoons and cups, very, very useful. We use them constantly. This immersion blender, and then just tin opener and peeler and things like that. So these two drawers get used constantly and I love how organized they are. And then in this drawer we didn't do that because actually it might look like a mess but it's an <laughs> it's organized chaos. Um, we've organized it so our dishwasher tablets right next to the dishwasher which is here. And then things that we don't use too often go in this drawer but they're organized so that more frequently used items are obviously at the front. So we've got like these um, Ziploc bags and funnels and things that we do use in this attachment for the handheld blender as well. And at the back we've got things like these isoly molds and um, some cookie cutters and cupcake holders and things. And that leads us to the baking cupboard. And I actually just redid this yesterday. Um, I'm a huge fan of kilner jars and I, I love these chalk labels with chalk pens to, to mark everything on them. 
but they're just not big enough for things like big bags of flour and porridge oats and things like that so I decided to try out the OXO good grips no sorry OXO pop containers and um, they're fabulous I really like them and then I just labeled them using my label maker so I really like that and then these green bins at the back are these sort of flexible bins you get and you it's so easy to get to you just literally just move a couple of jars and then you can just slide them out and in them we've got different types of honey and some different um, sugars and sprinkles and I don't know baking things everything in this cupboard is to do with baking pretty much um, and then that takes us to the final lower cupboard which is our I guess our pantry cupboard so you see I still got a lot of kilner jars here and they actually are a great size for sort of dried beans and pastas and things which we do use a lot and then here I actually killed our last microwave trying to drive rose petals in it and it, it melted and there was fire and it wasn't good um, but I saved this glass dish you know the thing that you put your bowl on that rotates and actually it's quite a good way to corral these different tins we don't use a lot of tin products but I like to have a stash just you know for those days where you're not quite sure what you're going to have if you haven't done your meal planning and then I've got a ridiculous amount of salad dressing because they were super cheap one day so I just stocked up because you know they don't really go off do they and I really like these um, Alpro Soya drinks and they were on offer last week so we stocked up on those um, got some raw honey there and then here's cereals and some cling film, greasy paper, kitchen foil, that sort of thing and then in this very large Tupperware we have spare herbs either herbs I really don't use terribly often but like to have just in case or things that are just um, the original larger bottles that the set on the fridge there um, were decanted from and here we have our glassware cabinet the left side is less frequently used things so wine glasses, sherry glasses um, some beer glasses and this adorable collection of shot glasses which my husband's family collected over the years visiting wine festivals in Germany and here is the side that we do use daily these are our regular glasses I'm a huge fan of these um, mason jars I really like those and then these so cute these are little coca cola glasses because I love coke um, and my family in Cyprus actually gave them to us they've been collecting them for us over the summer and we visited them last month and uh, came back with those and then I really like these these are just from the supermarket I think they're about a pound of glass or something but here we've just got a microwave with this bowl this is a really cool bowl actually um, probably not picking it on camera too well but it's, it's a beautiful wood and I picked it up on a trip to Alaska and I purchased this from the Alaskan Wood Bowl Company in Fairbanks as a gift for my husband and he really likes that and here my pride and joy um, my Le Creuset pans oh just love them we use them all the time they're not just for show by any means and this is our dogs drinking fountain it holds about a gallon of water it is absolutely brilliant. if you've got big thirsty dogs like we do we've got twin Alaskan Malamutes um, then one of these is a must our home office which I'll show you in a different video but here on the mantelpiece above our wood burning stove we just keep some pens some scissors and um, this adorable money box which we found in a charity shop the other week and we have this big mirror which we picked up TK Maxx and actually the color of it I don't know if you can tell but it matches the blinds perfectly so that was a really good find um, and here we've got some more kilner jars of course with dog treats and more dog treats in this biscuit jar and I just 
I just love these. I have a few of these pieces. That's it. We keep our windowsills completely clear. Um, apart from, I always have fresh flowers. I love fresh flowers. And my husband is such a sweetheart and he buys me fresh flowers all the time. So I've always got at least one vase in the kitchen. And it just brightens the room. And I think when there's no clutter around as well, um, just the odd piece of something decorative, something bright and fun, really stands out so much more. We purged so many items going through this process and what we're left with now are just the items that we really enjoy using and that function well. So our kitchen has now become a space that genuinely does spark joy. I love how it's clutter free and it's so easy to put things away and it's so, so simple to keep it clutter free. So if you're thinking of going through this process, I wish you all the best of luck. And if you'd like to see how we got on in the rest of our home, please subscribe for future videos.